He'll be going over the 2020 Coach of July Long Challenge, Division 2, Problem 3, at a King. So the problem statement is that Chef Ad is training her calculation skills, and she wants to place down a king and some obstacles on a chessboard in such a way that the number of distinct cells the king can reach is exactly K. So a chessboard has 8 rows and 8 columns, and a king can move to any adjacent cell which shares a side or corner with its current cell and does not contain an obstacle. So basically, a king can move north, south, east, west, or on any of the diagonals, and it can move to an adjacent cell that is open and does not contain an obstacle. So a cell XY can be reached by a king if, after an arbitrary number of moves, the king is in the cell XY. So we want to help Ada find any valid configuration of the board such that the king can reach exactly k cells and no more. It is guaranteed that such a configuration always exists, and if there are multiple solutions, we can find any one. So in this problem, let's quickly go over a test case just to make sure that in case you don't understand the problem, you can understand over the test case. So let's say that we have the number k equal to 9. This means that the king should only be able to reach up to 9 tiles or 9 spaces. So in this solution, we can form such an arrangement such that we have the king on, let's say, the top left. Then we have an open space, open space, open space, open space, and eight open spaces on the first tile. Therefore, in this case, chef will be able to, or the king will be able to reach all eight of the top tiles. Then we have, if, and then if we have an open tile in the ninth one, chef is now able to reach nine tiles. Now the rest of the board can be filled up with X's. And we can fill up the rest of the board with just X's. And what does this allow us to do? We can see that the chef is able to reach nine tiles. Namely, chef can reach the tile which he's on currently because that is zero moves and that is included in the problem statement. Chef can also reach any of the tiles on the first row, which are this, 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 and this. So, so far, chef can reach eight tiles all of the ones on the first row. Now, Chef can also go in a downwards movement and reach the tile, first tile on the second row, giving him a total reach of nine tiles. He cannot reach any more tiles because all of the other tiles are composed of X's, which stand for obstacles. So therefore, since Chef cannot go on any obstacle and the rest of all of the tiles are obstacles, he can no longer go to any other tile. So therefore, this is a valid arrangement for K is equal to nine. One thing about this problem is that these types of problems that ask you for an arrangement and give you and say that there are multiple types of arrangements possible for a problem such as this, the best way to solve this problem is to think about an arrangement that works for every single test case. And what I mean by that is, in this example, with k equal to 9, what have we done? We have jammed the king into the top left. Then we have created open spaces around the king and blocked. And once we have created nine open spaces, we marked everything else with X's. That way the king can only stay in those nine open spaces. And this type of arrangement can work on all other cases. Say that we have the value K equal to three. Then if we leave the first one open, we jam the king on the top left. Then we create two open spaces. So now the amount of open spaces which the king can travel to is one, two, three. So now that we have three spaces, we can mark the rest of them as X's. So in this case, the king will only be able to go to three open spaces while the rest of them are X's. So this is also a valid arrangement. This is one valid solution that will work for every single test case, where we keep the king on any one corner and fill in the rest of the spaces based off of that. So for example, we can go over a few more test cases. So let's say we have some value k is equal to 13. So in this case, we keep the king on the top left corner. Then we fill in the remaining seven tiles on the first row. So in this case, chef will have a reach of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiles so far. So now we know that we need to put five more tiles open in order for him to reach a total of 13 tiles. So we can put one, two, three, four, five more open tiles, and then 
we can label the rest as X's. So therefore, he will not be able to go to any other tiles after he's reached the total 13 tiles. So in this case, if we count up the total amount of tiles, which he can reach, we have 8 from the top, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So in total, Chef can reach 13 and no more than 13, because all the other tiles are blocked with X's and obstacles. So in this case, this arrangement works as well. If we check a few more test cases, let's say k is equal to 17, then we have, we can place the circle, we can place the king on the top left, fill in the other 7, so now we have a total of 8. So we need to place 9 more, so we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now that we are done, we've placed all 17, we can mark the rest of them with X's and fill in the rest of the grid with these X's. So now if we count the amount of tiles accessible to the king, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So in total, this is also a valid arrangement. So continuously testing these, we can see that we can just jam the king on any one corner, in this case the top left, and make the rest of the tiles in the row, start filling in the rows, and make how many amount of tiles we need accessible by going from row to row. So in this case, since we need to make 17 tiles available, we fill in the first row, which is 8 tiles, then the second row we leave open 16 tiles, and the first tile of the third row, 17 tiles. So we see that an arrangement of this type of pattern does work. So now we can move on to how we can code this type of pattern and how we can submit the solution. Now let's go over the code implementation of the solution. So for the solution, we have our integer t and we are going to input into t. Then for each test case t, we're going to input into n, which is the amount of spaces or tiles the king should be able to access on the board. So then we're going to subtract one from n. And what we're, the reason why we're subtracting one from n is because we're going to set the top left corner equal to zero. Zero is basically where the king's starting position is. And the king can always access the tile he's on just by simply standing there. So he can already access one tile. So if he can already access one tile, we can just subtract one from n because in that case he would need to access one less tile than the amount is given. So we set the top left corner equal to an O for the king's starting position, subtract one from the amount of tiles he needs to start, he needs to cover, and here we create a character array, a size 8 by 8 for the chessboard. So then over here in the chessboard we have two for loops, one going from i to 8, i equal to 0 to 8, and from j equal to 0 to 8, basically the rows and columns of the chessboard. So here we have our first if statement, if i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0, we do nothing. And the reason why we have this is because, remember, the top left corner is when i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0. And we've already set that equal to a 0, or an O, for the king's starting position. So when we come across it again here, we come across it once, we really don't have to do anything because we've already accounted for all of that over here. So the else if statement over here is if n is greater than 0, meaning that if he needs to be able to have access to more tiles. Then we're going to give him access to that specific tile and we're going to subtract one from the remaining amount of tiles he needs access from. So basically we discovered in our solution that we can just go ahead and leave rows blank until he has access to the amount of correct amount of tiles. Then we can fill everything else with X's. So here for each accessible tile, we're going to create it accessible and decrease the amount of remaining accessible tiles he needs by one. So this is basically just going through the rows, and if he still needs to be able to access more tiles, we'll give him that access. And then this else statement over here is once he has access to the maximum, once he has access to the amount of tiles he needs, then we're going to block all of the remaining tiles. So we're just going to set the re remainder of the chessboard to X's. And then over here we have this for loop, same thing for i equal to 0 to 8 and j equal to 0 to 8. We're just going to print out the chessboard, and this is our code implementation of the solution. The code will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and like if you haven't already.